Hey guys, what's happening? Chimdi here. So a while ago, I dropped this really cool prototype of a trailing cursor effect, which I did in Figma. And uh, some of you asked for a tutorial for how to get this done. So here it is. Let's go. All right, let's do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a frame. 1440, 900, whatever size you want, uh, doesn't really matter. So next thing, I'm going to make this black. And that's it for the frame. So I already copied the contents of this landing page in design. So I'll just paste it in here. This could be literally whatever you want it to be. Um, so this is just for the sake of this tutorial. So the next thing, I'm, which is kind of like the most important step is the interactive components I used for this. So I'm going to create a frame. Uh, I tapped on A to create this, then make this 40 by 40. Next thing, I'm going to create an ellipse and make this 100. Then I'm going to use UI gradients. I'll select the gradients to fill it with. Uh, well, I think we can work with this. But I'll probably just change this to purple. All right, that's fine. So the next thing I'll do is I'll blur this. I'll add a blur effect, layer blur. Make this 240. Then I'll cut it and paste it in the frame. So I'll remove the feel of the frame so it looks uh, transparent. You can see through it. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uncheck this clip content so you can see all the other contents of the frame uh, without cutting out anything. So this is what it does. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this ellipse. Uh, reduce this by half. Meanwhile, you could do this in Figma. You can just um, impute divided by, say, like two. If you wanted to divide the size of something by half or whatever, you could also multiply it. So yeah, that's a quick Figma tip. Yeah, so divide up by two, uh, center it, reduce this to 120, just so it's stronger in the center, um, just to create a stronger trailing effect. I'm going to name this um, hover slash inactive. Then I'll duplicate this frame, right? Then I'll name this hover uh, slash active. Um, I'll go back in here. I'm going to select both of them. I'll set the opacity to zero. Then I'll make both of them into components. Command Alt K, uh, Command Alt K, Control Alt K if you're on, on Windows. Then I'll select both components. I'll click this button that says combine as variants. Then I'll also uh, uncheck clip con uh, content. It doesn't really matter, but like uh, personally, I just want to visualize it. It doesn't, it's not going to affect how it works anyway, uh, since the actual component itself is not uh, being clipped. So I'm going to select this uh, state. Uh, now we're going to prototype this. So basically what we're going to do with this prototype is make it such that when your mouse or when your cursor hovers on this, it's going to uh, transform to this other state. So uh, I'll just drag and point it towards the next frame here, right? Then select this and change it to while hovering. Uh, okay, smart animate is selected already. So yeah, smart animates, custom visa. Um, so yeah, all good now. Then set this to 600 milliseconds. And the next step of this, I'll copy this uh, component now, the inactive variant of it. I'm going to place it inside this frame. Um, uh, take it to the left and to the top, align it to the left top. Then add an auto layout 
reduce all the margins and paddings to zero. Zero, zero, zero. Enter. Uh, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is within this, uh, let me name this row. So within this row, I'll just keep duplicating it till it fills the entire, um, till it fills the entire frame. So make sure it's set to point horizontally. So I'll just hold command D and it keeps duplicating an insane number of times till it fills up. Okay, that's done. Um, next thing is I'll add this to another auto layout. Set it, set everything to zero like we did before. Um, align to left top again. Then make sure this auto layout is pointing vertically. Then just the same thing. I'll duplicate it till it fills the entire frame. And D. Yep, that's done. And this is this is it basically. So depending on how you want this to be, if you want it, if you want the hover effect to show up on top of the content of the frame, you can leave this on top right here. But if you want it to be in the background, uh, the way it is in the uh, prototype I shared earlier, you can just take it to the all. The, you can take it all the way down. Then I usually I just lock this layer so it doesn't interrupt uh, anything if I'm trying to edit other stuff on here. So that's it basically. I'm just going to hit play, and in a few seconds we'll prototype. We'll be able to preview what we've done. So here goes. Yo, voila! That's it. So yeah, this is a quick tutorial for how to achieve this in Figma. If you try to recreate this, please, I'd really love if you tag me on it to see what it looks like. Um, yeah, that's it basically. Uh, see you on another tutorial. Take care.